New for you this morning, Gila monsters are one of those desert animals we are told to stay away from, but it turns out they're important to modern medicine. If you're like me, you're scratching your head thinking, how can this <laughs> actually be possible? 12 News journalist Jade Cunningham is taking a closer look at how these reptiles are really helping to bring life-saving treatments to people with diabetes. Though we don't often see them. They spend about 90% of their life underground. Gila monsters are well known in Arizona. I think it's the iconic southwest desert animal. One of only two venomous lizards in the world. If you are bitten, it likely will hang on and it, they hang on pretty well. Its bite can be extremely painful. And the longer they hang on, the more venom they're getting into your system. But that venom. It lowers blood sugar. Uh, it acts like insulin. Has actually been life-saving. It's used to treat type 2 diabetes. Yeah, I think it's a, it's amazing. Valleywise toxicologist Dr. Dan Kwan says a protein in the lizard's venom is similar to one in humans that increases insulin production. It's a glucagon-like protein or glucagon-like peptide. And that targets certain cells in the, the body, the pancreas, that says, Hey, I'm full. It kind of slows the gut down. It regulates blood sugar. It does all of these things that we've we've discovered throughout time. As a result, the venom has helped create different type 2 diabetes drugs like Bayetta for more than a decade. It's also evolved into other treatments like Ozempic, which is derived from Gila monster venom. So a lot of times they will, will extract the venom and then they would do their testing on it. And then they have techniques now where they, they make the medications without actually using venom. So the next time you're lucky enough to see a Gila monster. All animals out there are, can contribute to all kinds of things in our life. No, while deadly. A lot of venomous animals are, are persecuted heavily. So I, it's nice to let people know like, hey, we really need these. Besides the environment needs them, we need them as well and they can help us. These reptiles can help save lives one bit of venom at a time. Jay Cunningham, 12 News.